stage group six match between me and Alchemist. And again, one of the reasons why I haven't posted many videos lately is because, I mean, first of all, I'm kind of getting really bored with the tail, like really, really bored. And my favorite Total War game is Fall of the Samurai, followed by Shogun 2, still. Like, I think that there's. And, but actually, Attila is third on that list, but still. I still don't really enjoy playing this game too much at this point. So, yeah, and I've not been feeling too great lately either, so that's why I haven't been posting too many videos. Still don't, but hopefully, I can bring some videos to you. It's a bit of an effort. But anyway, um, let's see. So, I have. Germanic Nobles, Brace General. Uh, again, I'm playing against Ultimas here, who is the Franks on planes, because this is a group stage map match. Uh, so I, I am playing as the Allens with Germanic Nobles, Brace General. I have up front three Germanic Pikes, supported by four Germanic Archers, three Sarmatian Warband with two Germanic Horse Gold 1 and a Germanic Horse Bronze uh, Silver 2 on the right. And then on the left flank, three Sarmatian Warband with two Gold 1 Germanic Horsemen and a Silver 2 one as well. Now as for Alchemos, he has four Germanic Archers up front, supported by two Germanic Pikes. In terms of Cavalry, he actually has Frankish General uh, with Brace, so he can't bring another uh, Germanic Horseman if he wants to. In terms of actual Germanic Horsemen though, he has two Silver 2 on his left. Uh, one Silver 2 on his right with a Noble Germanic Horse Silver 2 as well. In terms of his mainline contingent, well, let's see, he has a Spear unit uh, on each flank, Bronze 1, it's just Germanic Spearmen. Then all the way on the left over here, a Noble Germanic Swordsman, Bronze 1, on the, all the way on the right, same thing basically. Now, let's see, in the center we kind of have like two Royal Anstruciones with the Noble Germanic Swords uh, men. Bo all, all three of those are bronze one, so let's hit play and uh, watch this unfold, basically. Will be interesting uh, to see how it goes. So uh, as you can see, I just have essentially my center contingent, my right flank contingent, and my left flank. And my flanks are symmetrical, so I kind of like doing this, but this one, he's actually going to be able to get some shots off onto my units. Despite me being pretty much in range here, I'm pretty sure, but these guys wouldn't fire. I'm not quite sure why. But his units, so they had to move slightly forward. Now I'm going to get some shots off, though. I'm also using fire. So I get the first shot, but I didn't actually kill anything. Which is quite strange. I lost two men and I didn't kill anything. So the engagement has not been going well for me somehow. Despite me actually starting to fire at his units first, so now I'm just gonna go for an attack And these guys are moving up on my left. I'm probably gonna move up my center as well with the pikes So I'm trying to force his uh, archers away with my cavalry so I can get extra shots off on them And forcing him to retarget because he might be retargeting and if he does I'm just gonna pull away in time to dodge the shots so now I'm moving up on the flank, again trying to go for the archers, but I notice that he re responds. Here I try to make a move as well, but pull back again. Now I'm going to pull back behind my sword contingent here. Uh, and I, as I notice, he's actually moving forward his Germanic horsemen. I'm just going to react with my own Germanic horsemen here. So I'm going to, as you can see here, this is a pretty good engagement for me because I'm cutting the flank of his Germanic horsemen, pulling him away. Already he's lost a few, and now I'm just going to turn around and double this unit. I'm going to get in a charge over here as well. So I think this engagement is extremely good for me. Though here comes another Germanic horseman for him. Uh, I'm going to target it with flaming arrows though, so it's going to fall quickly. And if, if I kill a Germanic horseman and I lose a Sarmatian warband, the engagement is worth for me. Like, really, really worth uh, so here though, uh, I'm actually not doing as well as I expected to do for some reason. But again, I'm gonna lose this Sarmatian Warband very quickly to this Germanic Horseman. I did not expect that. But Flaming Shot is gonna do very well in this engagement. I'm also gonna push up my Germanic Pike on my right flank over here to help. But again, Pikes are fairly buggy in this game, so they're kinda not gonna do what they need to do. 
But his Germanic horseman over here is now routing off the field. Uh, mine is still alive. So he lost the Germanic horseman at the cost of a Sarmatian warband. And his Germanic horseman is silver too. So very expensive. Here I'm actually going for his general with my Germanic horseman. So that's going to be huge. He's actually pushing up very far with these Germanic horsemen over here. Which I'm really happy about because I have... I have a Germanic horseman for each of them, and I can support with Sarmatian warbands. He's also coming in, but I have infantry support the, uh, a little bit closer than he does. The Germanic pike is actually, as you can see, it's not doing very well at all, despite being attacked from the front. Uh, my general is gonna hold out for a long time against these noble Germanic swords. Here, though, this Germanic horseman for me is doing wonders. It might kill his general. It's killing this Germanic horseman. It's gonna kill like three units because they're all super depleted. Uh, I stopped. Yeah, his general is gone by now. So I stopped the charge of his spearmen with uh, the Sarmatian warbands over here. Also targeting this Royal Anstruciones because, you know, it's a Royal Anstruciones, so might as well just target it. So here, I killed his general. Now I'm gonna go for some rear charges onto his. Uh, sword contingent and at this point I'd say it's looking fairly good for me I'm winning heavily on my left flank again because I had the proper infantry support which he didn't uh, I came in much cl much quicker with my infantry and I think that's what made the difference actually and he didn't get charges off onto my infantry and now the he's gonna pull back these spikes but I've got more Germanic horsemen left which are going to go for his archers his archers have a lot of ammo and they're gonna do a hell of a lot of damage onto my Germanic horsemen but I use loose formation, so they can't really get shot that well. I'm gonna go with even more Germanic horsemen into his archers. I broke through his left flank as well as his right. And at this point, it should just be a mopping up, basically. Yes, he's got Royal Anstruciones in the mix, and we've done a hell of a lot of damage to me, but the rear charges from the cavalry should wrap them up pretty quickly. His archers are going to be off the field soon, and this is going to be game. Rasmus Jonas, you're getting shot in the rear by all my archers. They're dying very quickly, and that is a victory for me. So let's see, statistics-wise, some of my Germanic horsemen did really well. Most of them are still alive by the end. So yeah, I have 1,350 men by the end of this game. So that was pretty decisive, I should say. Yeah, that was the game, so I hope you guys and girls enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, or subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus, share, plus, share the video, and I'll see you next time.